Hey guys, it is Duke, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Mini Biome Survival Let's Play. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing fantastic. I know I am, and I'm glad to be back for another video. So, whew, look at that working. That's working very, very fine. So, it is time to sleep real quick before I discuss what we did in the last episode, because we got a decent bit done, uh, and it actually... I think turned out really nice so so yeah this is basically almost like a part three because we have to take what we did here and really make use of it so if you guys don't know maybe you knew the series maybe you knew the channel maybe you missed it I don't know we've been working on this area over the past couple episodes actually just the last two I guess you consider the one uh, where we built the other pathway which you can see no, you cannot see the end. I was going to say, I think you can see the end from here. Wait, 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 wait. See that? That little sliver of gray? I'm pretty sure that's part of the pathway that's behind all this. Um, but we worked on that in the last episode in which, well, I guess the last two episodes. I, I, I feel like it was only one episode, but it was definitely two um, because, you know, we, were, we spread it out. That way we wouldn't get everything done. Yes, crafting table is exactly what I need. Okay, so let's get a look on over here so we can see a little bit better. It's so necessary to take the boat on over to the other side because we have to swim, you know? Uh, so we built that house in episode number 16, and I think it looks really good. It's a little quaint home. It's got a heck of a foundation, but it's kind of cool. I do like that. Um, and it looks good stays along with you know the theme that we're going with all the different types of wood including spruce oak and birch all in a build as well as the cobblestone and stone brick at the base so you know these houses i think one of my favorite parts about them is the fact that you know they almost feel like a house that was built in maybe earlier stages of the game like we're not using any block that is new to the game this stuff has been around for years so, so it's kind of cool that our spawn area sort of has this vibe to it in which you know you feel like this area has been around a lot longer than it really has uh, which I think is tremendous and then we built this other house here is turned sideways and they sort of intertwine if you guys could tell uh, they get really close they actually do touch just a little bit when we left that so it would sort of signify that they were built into the hill rather than uh, you know carved out I think that's I think that's what I'm aiming for and then we built this little thing and this is our cave entrance to our tunnel that allows for the entrance to these two houses and I gotta say I really really like it now when I first built it I was like that thing is hideous please take it away I am so sorry that I just spent time doing this but the more and more I look at it the more I like it and you guys like it too Honestly, I got some absolutely fantastic response, so I got to thank you guys so, so very much for that. We also talked about this in the last episode. This is nothing really too crazy. Uh, you know, this has been done before. We've, we have we did this in the, the episode before the last, so nothing new. Nothing's changed. Uh, but the interior of the house right here, nothing too crazy either. We just have an extra, you know, room up there, so it feels like more like a house. But finally getting to today's episode which I know is what you guys really do want to see uh, we finally need reason for these homes because if you guys don't recall I am trying to make sure that every build uh, every <laughs> hmm that's that would be quite the uh, the impressive thing to do um, but that most builds at least have purpose you know I don't want this area to just feel like a ghost town. I don't want it to feel like a town that was purely made for the fact that I wanted like a spawn town. No, I want this to make sure that, you know, you go into the spawn town and each and every building has its own use. You can use it for something and it feels alive and it feels it feels good. So, we are headed on out to what I believe is the nearest I think it's the nearest uh, village. It's just out on over here. We explored episode 6. Actually, I think it might be this way. Is it over the... Oh, just totally crashed. Um, it's in the desert, though. 
It might be on over this hill somewhere. I did not get it get to it through boats last time, so we should probably not use the boat. Um, there's some cows out here, which I don't really need to chop up, but potentially for comments of the days in the future, that would be nice to have. So I believe it is actually more this direction. Not entirely sure. I know it is somewhere southeast <laughs> and you know i i don't think i want to just walk the entire way out here on camera for you guys because if we do it'll basically be a repeat of episode six episode six really all we did was just adventure look around a little bit we were find, trying to find slime balls and stuff if you guys remember that if you haven't go check it out i mean i don't want to say that it's better than any of my other episodes because i think some of my other episodes are great um but, you know, if you're new, might as well come on and check it out. I hope you guys will enjoy. But there it is. And we're here. Sweet. So I, I did tell you guys that I was going to cut there. But, well, it came. I, I thought it was a lot farther away. So this is actually fine. Um, but, yeah, here we are. So you don't. Tra Why did I bring all this stuff? You're the one who does not trade anything. Who do we need? A cleric? Ooh, that's that's not bad. But I'd be fine if we found a buddy that did a little bit better than that. So we're going to block you up for now. Uh, what are you, a butcher? That's not bad, but I only have cooked chicken, so... A librarian. You have the potential to be something really good, I just don't know. Oh, we got an, it's a cartographer. Okay, so a worse trade on paper. No. A better trade on paper. That's 35. This is 34. I might pick you up because that'll give us a treasure map. Oh, I think that would be a good idea. You're a librarian. Oh, <gasps> that's not a terrible trade. Okay. Anyone in here? No, no one's home. Have I checked you out? Yes, I did. You're the butcher. There's one over here. A green coat. Are you another nitwit? Yes, you are. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. If you guys um, have been around on the channel long enough... You <gasps> a donkey. Oh, a donkey. We should totally get the donkey. But I didn't bring a saddle out with me because I was obviously... <gasps> oh, no. I need you. You're guaranteed a spot. Yes. Okay. And I can do this. Here's I was worried about transporting them. Um, but I'm realizing this is going to be possible. Wait, no, I don't know if we can go uphill. Uh-oh. But yeah, we're do we're definitely coming back to get that donkey. Shoot. We have to go downhill. Hopefully this <laughs> hopefully this body of water can lead us back to where we need to go. Oh boy. Oh boy. You're still in here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you are. And now we're off. Beautiful. I don't know how I'm going to get him to where he needs to be. There is a jungle over here. We may just sort of block him up. And we use a minecart system because I'm pretty sure that's the best way to do this. Uh, but we need to take him back. Hopefully he doesn't somehow get out of this boat. We'll go in F5 so we can see if he is. Um, also, I'm not entirely sure the exact coordinates. But I'm pretty sure we can get back through to my you know, spawn home this way. If not, I mean, I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. We're, oh, oh, we can definitely get through right here. Hold up. Do I have to break too wide? I must. All right, let me let me just bring him back, guys. You don't really need to see this. This is just, ugh. Ooh, yeah, that town hall, guys. I'll tell you what. Look how beautiful that looks. I do love it ever so much. I don't know how I'm supposed to get him on land. Oh, boy. This will be fun. This will be This will be real fun. Hi, chickens. I hear you. Um, let's slowly back up. Okay. Okay. Now let's get out of F5 because that's not entirely useful. We will make him a little holding cell in which he cannot escape from. And he's protected with light and all sorts of goodness. All right, just like that. Perfect. Let's block this off. Okay. Now, buddy. 
you know if I'm to destroy this boat oh no what what the heck where'd he go what what let me relog I think he's glitched out <laughs> he's gone oh <sighs> Okay, I was worried. He's here. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. No, 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 no. Ooh. Nope, 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 nope. Not gonna happen for me, buddy. Go on. This way. <laughs> Villagers. There's a reason why I never work with these things. Now, you... Don't go getting yourself killed, all right? <laughs> Please. All right. Now we're going to sleep. We're going to <laughs> We're going to go we're going to move this guy first. And yeah, then we'll be back. All right. All right. Here we go. We don't Okay, we <laughs> we do not have a mine cart. I thought we had a mine cart. We do not though. So let's go grab one quickly and hopefully our little roller coaster we made here uh, will suffice. Do we actually have a minecart? No, we do not. So we're gonna have to make our own. Luckily, I have plenty of iron. Not too worried about making a minecart. I mean, come on, guys. Oh, yep, there it goes. So, we must have never made one of those before, but that's fine. Uh, also, I think I do want to use minecarts to a full potential in this at some point. Uh, not right now, of course, because we're busy with villagers. Obviously. Come here. Villager. You know you wanna jump on into the minecart. Come on, let's go, buddy. Seriously. Um will you? Can I get you out of this corner? Please? <laughs> why are you why are you so stubborn? I do not want to punch you. It worked. Oh, that was amazing. That is, that is, that's how you play Minecraft, guys. Get in the thing. Oh, he's in the thing. Go, buddy, go. Yeah. Ha, <laughs> ha, yeah. This is great. There you go. You have no option now. You're in the home. Welcome. All right, all right. No, no, no. You cannot get out of there. Okay, this is fine. Then we go one of those right there. One of those right there. He's just going to keep opening up that door because he thinks he can get out. Uh, luckily, though, I thought that over. And, you know, me being the genius I was, put a block of dirt over it. So we can't get out. He is locked in here forever. However, I know that that is a very rude thing to do. So we're going to give him the opportunity. Actually, we're not going to give him that opportunity. You know, I, I, I think about it. And as nice, he is really serious about getting out of here. Now you're stuck. You can't get out, right? And I don't think a zombie can get to you like this. Maybe he can, but if you stand in the back, you're fine. I think. All right, so you are all good. We need to put our two ladders back. That's your new home. Enjoy. Actually, if I could get you to step off of there, that would be great. Obviously, this fence does not look good, but uh, not our my primary worry at this moment. Um, you guys want to do some trading real quick before I go get the other? It's almost nighttime, so I think I think we have a little bit of time to do something like that right here. Uh, and obviously, we're going. I thought that was a spider on my rail. I was like, what? And we'll go grab a different villager, probably a butcher or something like that. Uh, I think would make a decent bit of sense. Uh, I don't I don't know which I don't know what villager which villagers are good. Obviously, a librarian's great. This cartographer guy is gonna be okay too. Um, outside of that, couldn't really tell you. <laughs> 
I don't I don't know too much about villagers. I've definitely explained this multiple times in this episode already. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know anything. So let's grab ourselves some paper. Three stacks of paper. And we will take those papers. We're actually going to sleep first. So don't have to deal with any zomberts. Or even worse, creepers. And my bed's not downstairs. I don't know why I was headed down there. Bed's in this lovely little <laughs> miniature bedroom. Very cozy, but we have a nice painting up there. So, you know, I'm not complaining. I like the coziness of it. All right, let's head on over. I, I, uh, you know, honestly, I love this dirt, guys. It's just in such a perfect spot. I could not think of a better place to put the dirt. Uh, so let's talk to Mr. Villager here. Hello! What a screenshot. He loves me. No, he doesn't. All right, so we're going to stuck sticks. So we're going to stuck. We're going to stick some of those in there. What a deal. That's an advancement. Okay. Um, is that going to be enough? Yes, it is for a new deal. Okay, so um, advancements. Which one? That's just normal Minecraft, isn't it? Adventure? Totally is. Okay, so we might summon an iron golem just for that it's eventually. Also, we're really close to adventure time. Uh, monsters hunted, no. Okay, are these particle effects wearing off yet? N <gasps> he nodded. Maybe he didn't. Okay, what's our next trade? A compass. That's not too bad. And if we get, like enough iron I'm not opposed to doing that trade at all but let's stick some more of these in here for you um, we'll take the rest of them alright now you cannot do that trade anymore so we're going to have to get a compass or two is that enough it is enough for a new trade okay um, I'm learning so much <laughs> now nah, seriously though I do know I do know the basics probably because I've seen it in videos before however again don't know them all myself, so an empty map. Huh? That's not a treasure map, is it? I don't believe so. Huh. Is that enough for you to do more trade? Nah, I think we're gonna have to go make ourselves a compass, right? That's how that works. Or you know what? Heck, I don't really care. Let's try this trade. Huh. Is that enough for you? No, I don't think so. All right, so the empty map. There it is. Okay, I was really confused. Oh, hey, look how good that looks. Oh, and he's, I just see the, the new particles there. I'm just realizing we don't actually have a map. Now we do. All right, so let's see. That is the chicken farm. No, that is where we get the eggs. That's the chicken farm, storehouse, uh, brrr, my home. I knew the name, but I couldn't think of it. Uh, that's the fishing hut, nether portal, that cave entrance. That's where we're standing right now, obviously. That is the fountain above us, the pathway down, pathway up, pathway across, home one, home two, entrance to the tunnel. No town hall on this page, though. That's interesting how it didn't fit. Oh, well. All right. What's new for you? Oh. <gasps> An ocean expl- that is all oh, that is- Ha! Oh, that is so good! All oh, that is so good! Thank you very much, dude! Because you know what? We really need that, actually. Because I want to get Prismarine and stuff. The only issue is I have not seen a temple at all. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's so good. I really, really am happy about this. This is good. Maybe I should have uh, invested in villager trading many years ago. Not now in 2017, you know, when this this stuff's been around forever. <laughs> All right, so only 34 there. It's okay. We can save up. So let me go on ahead, grab another villager, and I'll be back with you guys. All right, let's see what we got. Do we see what we got? Because I know there are some decent villagers here. Don't know which one we need. Hello. Stupid nitwit. Ugh. Of course. 
Of course it would be him. Hi, donkey. I forgot, <laughs> forgot to grab you a saddle. So I suppose I'll be back for you. Maybe not in today's episode because we're running out of time. I'm recording this a Wednesday night. I'm back in school, if you guys do not recall. Um, and the worst part about that... That's not too crazy bad. I might take you, because you're better than that cleric. This is going to be good for us, my guess. But I don't know. I almost kind of want to take a librarian, because would it be wrong not to? I think it would. Oh, sorry. Uh, but like I said, back in school now. And while that, there's, there's definitely plus sides to that. You know, the downsides, every kid knows for sure. Uh, but really, though, I think my biggest downside is time and the fact I'm always continuously exhausted. So today I came home and I didn't have to work tonight. So that was that was great for me uh, because if I did, I would not have time to record today. Uh, so I'm going to have to work around my work days quite hastily. Uh, but anyways... I took a two-hour nap <laughs> because I was tired, guys. Let me tell you, that was such a great feeling. The best nap of my life. <laughs> no, really, though. I mean, it's like eight combined hours over the past two nights of sleep. You know, when you get home from work at midnight, it, it can definitely screw up ability to find time to sleep plus I wasn't really too tired the first night because I was staying up late playing PUBG so my body got on the schedule that that's what I should be doing but then it slowly come around that hey maybe maybe that's not gonna work <laughs> so yeah it's been fun how are you guys I mean I assume we do have you know our school kids whether that's you know any sort of, you know, it could be, oh, shoot, this is not the way we came last time. Oh, well, I don't know where I am. Uh, we'll figure a way out of here. No, we will not. Backtrack, I do remember where we are. Uh, but, you know, we probably have people from elementary school, middle school, high school, all the way up through college, potentially. Maybe, do, do we have any grad students? I, w I wouldn't know. Uh, you know, and then people who are out in their career field now. So many, you know, it's, it's amazing how diverse such a small sample of a YouTube viewership can be. Like, obviously, I have a very small channel in terms of <laughs> YouTube, Minecraft, Minecraft YouTube channels. I mean, this is a small channel. We might be nearing 18, or 800 subscribers, but... That's not a lot. Um, I mean, enough for me to be thankful for, for sure. And enough for there to be such a diverse population that I don't know really, you know, where you guys stand in life. Um, but whatever it is, like I said, if it's if it's school, then that's good. Uh, if it's a career, that's good. But whatever it is, I really hope you guys all excel and... I hope you guys continue to enjoy these videos. So, we are going to quickly shove you onto here. Don't disappear like last time, okay? You didn't. Okay, now I'm going to push you up. And there you go. And he's off. Um, quickly, let's go to bed. Let's go to bed before he could possibly die. Let's go, 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 go. Where are you? Did you head all the way up there? You did. Oh, no, he's coming back. Oh, no, we need to get to bed. We need to get to bed. I just realized that was not a very smart thing to do. And I went downstairs again. <laughs> All right. Hey, we have six lily pads. Those are um perfect. <laughs> I hear him. He must just be on his way back right now. <laughs> Smooth. This is exactly what I wanted. All right, so we take the dirt... We might need some more of this, so we'll just take that out. Let's get you. Dang it. <laughs> Not again. Hey, more chicken. That's going to be good. All right. Oh, shoot. Hold up a second. 
Let me push you on up and then block it. Hold on. No, no, no. We'll put it one back. That way he can bounce again because <laughs> if you guys are unfamiliar, he's... Oh, I'll step aside. He's just going to keep going to this house, and that's not the house we want him in. So, there we go. We might need another one of these. That's not going to work. Let's take that one out. Put it like that. One of those. One of those. He's not going to be able to really come into this house this way, but we can make him. No, we'll not put the dirt there. Let's just put our oak fence right here like what would make sense at least and those all the way into there now come on back buddy are you stuck down here oh no he went through the block oh no ha huh. that could have killed him I mean I doubt one block would have but potentially if you got stuck there that would have been terrible losing our librarian all right now, please work. Please go to where I want you to go. I think you will. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're totally going. All the way in. Fantastic. All right. We'll take that out. We will put this. Oh, no, I'm sorry, buddy. You're good now, okay? Please. Please trust me with this one. Okay. Then I take that out. Put the stone brick back, and we have that right there. And, you know, I'll clean this up in a second. Let me go ahead and try to do a little bit of trading with this guy. I'm pretty sure just zombie flesh is all we have available to us. Oh, no, 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 We could also get ourselves a Sharpness 3 book, but that's not... I mean, it's good, but it's not Sharpness 4. Then again, it could be if we got two of them, but... You know, let's just get some zombie flesh for now. Which we do definitely have some. Alright, that's right. And if we need to go down and farm some zombies down low in our mob farm, we can without doubt. That's why we have it. We have it for a reason, guys. And now we have ourselves a cartographer and a librarian and things are looking good. Excuse me, sir going to have to ask you to step back real quick. Did, will that destroy the ladder? It did not. Perfect. Now, if he heads this way, we can reach him. Wait, no, no, no. You're another paper dude. Why did I think I picked up the cleric? Interesting. Alright, well, I guess we'll come back to that later. Alright, so I think it is time for me to go on ahead and grab a comment for today's comments of the day. Okay guys, so we have our comment of the day and actually my internet died out for a short bit of time there. And when I say short, I mean a good hour or so. Thank you AT&T, it is great. And uh, for those who are interested in that, yeah, uh, I am hardwired. So, I really shouldn't have internet just going out. It is entirely AT&T's fault. And I stand by that. <laughs> uh, however, we don't have any other option for internet. So, as much as it sucks, it's what I have to live with. Uh, but alright, let's finally get into what you guys want to see. And that is the comment of the day. The comment of the day... For episode number 17, now being featured on episode number 18, is a comment by a user of the name of Dylan Madushka. And he says, your cave entrance is very nice, dot, dot, dot. And he's talking about this one right there. Thank you, Dylan, for that. Uh, please get some pets and tame them. That is something I think would be really cool. You know, we want the donkey uh, that we found over in the desert. I want a dog. I want some cats. You know, I, I just want to make this area feel a little bit more like home. And I know we can do that. And then he also says, please don't. And then in all caps, end the series. Which I won't. And then it says, and your village is all caps, great, three question marks, and awesome. 
this is still in all caps. Don't four E's, four N's, four D's, end the series. So Dylan here, <laughs> gotta say, he must, oh, oh. You know, we always have that lag spike during the episode. It hadn't happened yet, so I knew it had to happen at some point. Um, but yeah, thank you, Dylan, for that. I, you know, I hope everybody else is as hyped as Dylan is for me to continue this series. It will not be ending anytime soon, guys. Do not worry. Uh, having a lot of fun, and there's always something to be done on this world. So, absolutely in exciting and, and so much fun. Uh, but thank you that, thank you for that, Dylan, and I thank you guys for watching. You know, leave your comments so you can be featured on a future episode. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. This has been Duke. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment down below, turn on links to next. And if you're new to the channel or the, the channel, if you're new to the channel or the series, be sure to subscribe. This has been Duke. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.